We're watching best ever food review. India's best breakfast costs 14 cents. <gasps> Amazing Punjabi street food. I love street food. Let's see what the Punjabi street food it situation is. Like super is. flaky on the oh, outside. Oh, we're going. That is nuts. We're going to get so hungry. Already. And you're going to grab oh. some butter. Yeah. Yes, butter. Oh. I can't even wait. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> rude. Oh. oh, I love him. He's fun to watch eat food. Yeah. Eats well. Welcome to he does. Amritsar in Punjab. This is North yeah. India, just a few miles away from the Pakistani border, home to the great oh. Sikh Golden Temple and Gorgeous. tons of world class oh. food, including street food uh. that can be found uh. almost anywhere. This man has a restaurant on his bike. Today, we're going to focus on a classic of Amritsar, chole, in all oh, its glorious yes. forms. A locally renowned spicy so chickpea hard. Oh. curry that grabs your taste buds and never lets go. Why does Amritsar love chole so much? Amritsar is best known for its spice. They make it from there and directly from field to the kitchen. In this town, chickpeas are in fashion. And who better to show me the wild world of chole than fashion blogger Dick Shaw. So he puts on some more butter? Yes. Guys, calm down. It's ghee. Who need a chef putting his life on the line for our taste buds? Oh, he puts it in my hand? Yes. This guy is insane. I'll be introduced to some never-before-seen ingredients. What kind of pickle is that? It looks like a little Gosh. chicken egg. And even Ooh. iconic street food that dates back to the Hindustan era, when wow. Pakistan and India were one. Now we are going to have bhigawa kulcha. The recipe is before the partition of India and Pakistan. Today, we're going on a food tour so epic, <laughs> even paparazzi can't help but get a peek of the action. Great. Awesome. Chole. <laughs> I love it. So cute. Location one is bringing the heat. Mm. Perfect for cooking the best bread I've ever laid lips on in India. Wow. But first, fashion. As a person of fashion, what do you think about my yeah. headband? It's looking good. It's different. Is it something that you would try? Yeah. No. It's a okay, choice. I didn't expect any of that. Aside from fashion, today we are getting into I food, love especially yeah. chole. Chole is a chickpea curry, right? Yeah. This dish is famous all over the city. Why very does Amritsar um, love chole so much? Because chole are full of spice. Will I be oh. able to Oh. Mr. White Bread here. Yes. It's not just that about the chole. You need a good. multitude of breads to eat it with. Should it be that? It's made up. It's thicker than. That's usually than when it. I've had it. It's been thicker, but after I'm open to whatever. Or some, some of the bowls the look thicker than. All right, let's go. Others, so maybe. Here, maybe it's just like a specific recipe. Some people like it more watery. Stuffing there. Stuffing is of potatoes, onions. And spices. Oh, so this it's is like stuffed. loads. It's not yeah. just like bread. a this dumpling. This is called kulcha. Bread stuffed with boiled potatoes, onion, grated cauliflower, coriander <sighs> leaves, and green chilies. Once stuffed and flung over to the cooking station, this insane man risked his extremities in order to roast it up in a <laughs> wow. very hot tandoor oven. It's like they literally went, how many carbs would you like to have? Yes. All of them. All of them. Wow. Just do it. Amazing. In my mouth. And inside, there is a ton of bread. It is insanely hot. Oh, he puts it in my hand? Yes. Wow. This man has no hair on his arm. It is so hot, it's all been burned off. I think you should try sticking one of the breads in there. Do you think you can do it? No, that's fine. You don't yeah. want to burn the hair off your arms? OK. I'm going to try it, guys. Bam, 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 bam. Yes? I like it. Be careful. Hi. Be careful. Oh, shit. <laughs> you did it? I got it. it. All right, it's pretty good. Good? Not bad. Good. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, mm, not going to fit like butter. four in there. Um, no, still missing the main course. We've got our kucha, and here is the chole. Chole is made with chickpeas, and then it's all about the spices, Look including the green spices. chilies, chana masala, yes. red chili powder, garam masala, and dry mango powder. Oh. Mango. And then it's uh, left under sun for some time. Oh then my God. Just make a spice out of it. That sounds good to me. Let's try it out. I wonder if it's like sweet and sour. Yeah, or like, like it, almost like a tamarindy. Oh, we need to taste? assemble it. Oh, we put it inside. Oh, that was yeah. chutney, maybe. Is that you were looking? Oh, they put that's a why I was wondering. load of butter on here. I will be really amazed if you can keep your white shirt white the whole day. Do you think you can? She can. Yes, I can. Okay, okay. let's Pro. see. So we're mixing our chutney with the chole. We have to make a little vessel from our bread, pour in the chole. Oh. We have to eat this three more times today. Can you do it? Yeah. All right. Cheers. Bet. Different restaurants. Mm. How is it? And unlike any chole I've ever had, buttery, rich, oh, toasty, flaky bread. And then <gasps> I love it's butter. Kind of gentle, really good spice. <laughs> mm. 
It is so perfect. <gasps> this is one of those meals that makes oh, you forget that you're eating vegetarian food. Oh, I man. don't feel like I'm missing cents. anything. Good choice. I'm in the wrong city. <laughs> yeah, you're, you eat like mostly vegetarian, right? Yeah. Joint. And these guys are fast. And you've got to be fast, too, if you're hoping to get served. Oh my God. This place is really competitive. you got to be quick. If you do manage to make it to the front of the counter, you'll witness pure magic. Do you know what is so special about the chole here? It's all about spice. So very good chole, good masala. What kind of bread are we getting? We are going to eat martini. What is that? It's something crunchy and oh. it's So they're making Ooh, it right oh. now here. He puts it together in about Drew. Two seconds. It's a crunchy one. <gasps> and some green chilies just fresh. Oh my god. And chunny, I don't want anything. Oh, same thing. So they put this cracker on the bottom, and then they put on some chunay, a little onion, some chilies, and don't forget the chutney. Sir, thank you. Let's go eat. Uh. So we've got our dish right here. I noticed they gave me two chilies, but why don't you have any chilies? I don't like chilies. What? Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am. Your Indian nationality has been revoked. revoked. Give it to us. Shame. Shame on you. Shame on your family. Dishonor. Dishonor on your whole family. Okay, that's fine. You're you're beautiful. I'm sure your fashion is great. We'll take a deep breath and we'll continue. <sighs> this is a pickle? Yes. What kind of pickle is that? It this looks like a little it's, chicken egg. It's called amla. What vegetable is it? Amla. It's Goose called berry. amla? Yeah. Great. And here's a Google Goose image berry. of that. Oh, it's Ooh, very fragrant, so good very pickly. You. What kind of crazy Pickering. vegetable is this? <laughs> Here again, Google Images. So if you didn't see it the first time, that's what we're eating right now. But Ooh, the pickled version. It's good for mm. everything. Super savory, super oh, heavy. So oh, we're gonna I've never had that. that crispy I, shell either. on the bottom. Ready? One, two, three. Cheers. Send us a mason jar at our P.O. box. <laughs> that is very rich, very heavy. Yeah, see, it's less okay. moldy right, this one. Yeah. kind of bread. Would you even call it a cracker, maybe? Cracker. Would you call it's like me a cracker? It's like a tostada. Yeah, kind of. Thank you so much. I'm going to get another big bite. Here we go. Um, mm. um. The cracker is soaking up all that chole. Super Look at savory. The spices. It's kind of like making the cracker oh. half crispy, half soggy on the inside. Yeah. The onion in there, very oniony. Is this like kind of a Indian fast food? Basically, it's breakfast for everyone. Mm. It's so affordable. The steaks come in only 10 rupees. Whoa. An oh unexpected breakfast. Gosh. It's very energy packed. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That will wake you up. That'll get you through until about 4 p.m. Yeah. Our next location offers a dish akin to taking a bite of history with a recipe that predates the Hindustan era. We have reached wow. our third destination right behind us. And guys, I hope you're not sick of chole because we're having uh -uh. some more chole. What's so special about this place? Oh, we are going to have the bhigawa kulcha. It's called drenched kulcha. Oh. Kulcha with chane. The recipe is before the partition of India and Pakistan. So this is very unique. Pakistan and India were one country called Hindustan. Is that right? Yes. When did that division happen? Do you know? 1947. Yeah. Should we go try some? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, we all know. She's like, yeah. And I'm not a host. I'm just a regular guy in line for food. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Okay, I don't know how this works. He's wearing <laughs> completely all white. Like me. Just like yeah. you. That confidence here. The control and precision to be able yeah. to work all yeah. day with these kind of brown sauces. Oh, and it's, and it's in a plastic like bag. Angel. Yeah, I you know it's not. legit. Uh -huh. on the menu here? No, they have like mati chane also. Mm. Which one are we getting? We are getting biga one. Oh, this one. Okay, so he puts the bread inside this huge bowl of chickpeas, puts the bread back onto a plate, more oh, chole on top, up. then oh, onions, really so a yum. chili, a pickle, and what is that sauce? Chutney. Chutney. Oh, that is wow. heavy. Oh, it's really soaked up the sauce. Breakfast. Let's go eat it. Yeah. Here it is. Biga 27. Drenched kulcha. So expensive. Oh, I like that. And I it is wet. It is heavy. It's like three this times the size massive, of the other one. as in it has a lot of mass. Do you like eating with your hands or not? That's a good spoon, no? You prefer his food. Me too. Me I got to take a bite right yeah. here. And I like to just get Depends. a little bit of a taste. <laughs> My audience Sorry. loves a guy who takes big bites. I like food. Ready? Good. Ow. I like food too. Yeah. Mmm. It's a nice bread. The last place was very crispy. Chili is different. Doughy. Yeah. I like mm. the other chili better. No Can I request ghee? Okay. <laughs> she she's like, like, are you kidding me? There's a bat in the back. <laughs> right. We're not shooting the same thing twice in a row. We're shooting it four times in a row, not twice. I want to see how big of a bite you can take. We all know that you are amazing at taking really small bites. Is that... My audience is feeling You'll heartbroken That's how and she doesn't spill. They really appreciate a big bite. That's pretty yeah. big. Can you do it and save your lipstick too? Okay, go for it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> 
Indian cooking styles are just as versatile as the food itself. From street side stalls to mobile bicycle restaurants. Yeah. And this man is delivering a Tour de France of flavor. We're at our final it. Chole destination. What Amazing. dishes is he serving here? He's serving bun chane. It's an Indian burger. Bun is like a hamburger bun? Yeah, bun and we put chanes inside. Oh. Bun chole. That's easy to remember. That's cute. Do do bun chane the do bhaiya. Bun chane. Here's the bun, here's the oh. chane or chole. Put it together and you've got <laughs> oh, <laughs> me too, buddy. So he puts on some butter. <gasps> it's ghee. Guys, calm ghee. down. It's ghee. So yeah. inside here, I see bean and I see potato. It's a boiled honey. Yeah. He'll put in some potatoes, onions, salt. Oh, and like and fresh and every time. Oh, Amazing. Yeah. Is he going to kind of mash that up? He's going to mix it. Must be super oh. refreshing. Turn the buns. And then he's got this nice little machine here for squeezing in some fresh wow. citrus. Now he's still very good. Oh. Oh. With the citrus chole. twist. Thank you, sir. It's so varied. Yeah. Like they're the same so we but have different. Our Indian burger here. I'm gonna show you guy oh. right here. I mean, would you take a look at the beauty oh. that is you all You can't that eat that and not make a mess. Crispy oh. on the outside, toasted in that ghee. I'm so pumped. We're gonna try it out. Are you ready? Yes. Let's yeah. go for it. Oh, and she doesn't drop it. Mm -mm. She's a pro. Mm. A lot of flavor. That is mm. super salty. Maybe a little too salty for me. But I really like the big chunks of onion in there, and it's a little crunchy. Potato. And the potato, too. What kind of people are eating here? Normally, the college girls. Just mm. anybody who wants a cheap treat, 14 cents only. And I do wow. like the bread. It's very nice on there. It's very yeah. convenient. You could drive to school while eating this. Who's going to shoot then? That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. With how satiating, filling, and just plain satisfying all this food is, it's hard yeah, for a meat so lover cool. like me to believe all we ate today was pure vegetarian. If you have a chance, don't miss the tandoori kulcha with about half a stick of butter. Taste-wise, <laughs> it's like looking yes. into the Geesh. eyes of God. Oh my wow. God. What a treat, <laughs> getting to tour all this chile I love with you. Can I do a shirt check? Ta-da. Stain-free, that's it. pretty good. You made oh. it through four locations of this soupy brown food and ended wow. up clean on the other side. If you want to check out more about Dickshot, she is on Instagram right here. That was really good. I'm I salivating. I so was. Hard. I was salivating. I was like, <laughs> like, I don't know if I've ever seen that on a menu or in a restaurant or like, I don't think I've ever seen chole anywhere. I've I seen a lot of chana everywhere, like obviously. Yeah. But I think I've had it once. Someone's mom cooked it for oh. us. It was so can you make it for us? <laughs> so good. Was but, it? Describe yeah. it. It was just like so tasty. I think it, we had it with the with the puffy bread, the chile yeah. bature, I think is what it's called, the bratura. It's poofy. Yeah. And then it was with the the curry, and it was so tasty. And is the, that chutney um, like the mint one, or is it? No, um, no, no. It was no like chutney. It was just with the the chickpea by itself. Yeah, yeah. with a with a puffy bread. Yeah. So you like dipped oh. it with. Dip the puffy bread with the chickpea and it was delicious. So, so yummy. I thought this was great. It's it's amazing how like they have, it's like one dish, mm -hmm. but there's so many different variations yeah. of it. And I'm sure like if you went to anyone's house, everyone's mother own. would have like their own special version of it. Yeah, that was awesome. I cannot wait to go back and, and try more food. And I love that in India, there's so many options for really great vegetarian foods as oh, well. Yeah, that would be the place to go if you're yeah. vegetarian, like just you'd be so happy and fulfilled the whole time. Yeah. I, watching this, I'm like, A, I want it immediately. I'm going to have to look for a recipe or like ask someone. <laughs> <laughs> B, this would be one of those dishes that would be really good fusion for it. Like I kept thinking Mexican food. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And how the two could totally like make this amazing a baby. <laughs> no, well, like, like the the flavor profile is kind of similar. Like a lot of the ingredients used in Mexican food mm -hmm. is used in Indian yeah, food and in Thai food and then stuff yeah, like chili, that. And just so, hot. Yeah, it's just like the difference is in the preparation, mm -hmm. which is amazing. So anyway, you guys, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Whose chole is best? Drop a recipe. Drop a recipe. Drop your mom's recipe in the comments, please, so that we can make it. And we will see you next time. I'm Achara Kirk. This is Vivian Day. Ciao.